Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about books that I want to read in the month of July and you might be wondering, well, Jessie, why are you doing your July TBR video so early in June? I still have a couple weeks till July, but if you didn't know, I am hosting a month-long July readathon in my Patreon and I am so excited about it. It is a themed summertime readathon. It's called the Five Star Treasure Hunt. And because I'm hosting this readathon and because there are these set prompts for the readathon, I wanted to go ahead and get my July TBR video posted earlier rather than later because if you're interested in participating in the readathon or you want more information about it, you will have a chance to join in. If you are interested in participating, I will link all of the information for the Patreon and for the readathon down below. So like I mentioned, it's called the Five Star Treasure Hunt and essentially the goal of the readathon is for everyone participating to hopefully find a five star favorite book while setting sail on our ship of fantasy and traveling across the sea to the X marks the spot. And we do have a treasure map. You can't do a treasure hunt without a treasure map. So we do have a treasure map to go along with this readathon that was so beautifully done by my wonderful cousin, Olivia, who's Instagram I will link down below if you are interested ever in commissioning someone for any type of art. She is unbelievably talented. So here is the treasure map. So as you can see, there are five stops along the way to getting to the X marks the spot where the buried treasure is. And each of these different stops represents a prompt for the readathon. So I'm going to go over the different prompts and the different stops, and then I'm going to give you uh, my options that I have for each of the different prompts. And I'm kind of giving myself like three options for each different prompt, uh, with a couple of exceptions, uh, because I want to allow myself to mood read if I so choose um, for next month. So let's talk about the first stop, which is Palm Tree Beach. So of course you're going to start on the beach for the treasure hunt and Pop Tree Beach is all about reading a book that is an anticipated 2023 release for you or reading a backlist book that you've been meaning to get to for so long. So essentially when you start this off, we want to make sure you're excited about it. You're starting off with a book that you're excited for. So that's the goal with this prompt. And for this prompt, I have three options in mind. The first being The Sword Defiant by Gareth Honorhan. So all three of my options are going to be anticipated 2023 releases. And these are all three arcs that I received for review. So I would love to prioritize and get to all three of these. Uh, this one has sounded amazing. I had meant to read it back in May and just did not have enough physical reading time so did not have a chance to get to it but it sounded so good and this is an author that i have another series of his and i've been wanting to check out his work for so long so this is my first option for palm tree beach and then i also have the gods of wordwood uh, by rj barker who i've i read the bone ships from and i wasn't a huge fan but it wasn't because of his writing style it was just because i don't love seafaring fantasy so i wanted to give him another try and this book sounded amazing. The premise sounded super cool. It sounds like a fantasy book that I'm really going to like a lot more. Uh, so this is another one that I have as an option. And then the third and final option I have is God Killer by Hannah Kainer. This one has already come out, I believe, in the UK, but it has not officially been published, I don't think, in the US yet. Uh, I think it comes out later this year, but I've seen such amazing reviews for this from folks who did get it uh, earlier this year. And that has me so intrigued. It's not very long. I do believe it's the start of a series and I've just heard amazing things. So I'm very curious to check this one out. So those are my three options for my anticipated 2023 release for Palm Tree Beach. Our next stop is Clam Lagoon. So you do have to swim from Palm Tree Beach to Clam Lagoon uh, to get to the Ship of Fantasy. So Clam Lagoon is going to be all about reading a sequel. So now that you've read an anticipated release, let's prioritize 
finishing out some series, hopefully. Uh, so I have three options for this once again, and it depends on what I'm able to get to this month, which I don't think will be a lot. Uh, so the first option I have is The Poison Song by Jen Williams, which is the third and final book in the, oh my goodness, what is this called? Winnowing Flame Trilogy. Uh, that's it. And this is a series I've been really enjoying. It's been a four-star series for me so far, and I think it's probably going to continue to be a four-star series, but I'm intrigued enough to finish out this series and see what the heck is going on, <laughs> especially because the second book ended in such an interesting place. So I'm very excited for that one. So that's my first option. Then I also have The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty, which is the third and final book in the Devabod trilogy, which is another book series that I've been really enjoying. It's been a four-star series. It'll probably continue to be a four-star series, but again, like Winnowing Flame, it's something where that ending to the second book was so explosive. Characters are in really interesting spots right now and I just have to know how it all ends. So this is my second option. And then my third and final option is The Tyranny of Faith by Richard Swan. This is one that I would love to get to this month. It's on this month's TBR, but realistically I probably won't have the time. So if it does bleed into next month, I would love to get to it next month. I've heard amazing things about the sequel to The Justice of Kings. I've heard it improves upon the Justice of Kings in almost every way. So I really, really would love to read this. Oh my gosh, I, I would love to get to it. So those are my three options for Clam Lagoon. Once you swim past Clam Lagoon, you can then climb aboard the Ship of Fantasy. But to do that, you have to read a book with water on the cover. So my three options for that are going to be A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This very clearly <laughs> is water. Uh, and I've heard amazing things about this duology. It's a finished out duology, so if I really enjoy it, I can go ahead and read the second book. Uh, and I've just heard it's really beautiful. Uh, so I really would love to check this one out sooner rather than later. That's my first option. My second option is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. So this is, I mean, it's a representation of the ocean and it's watercolor. So <laughs> I think it counts for water on the cover. I've heard amazing things about this Neil Gaiman book and um, I have not read any Neil Gaiman so far. So I would love to finally check out my first Neil Gaiman <laughs> and see what all the love is for. Uh, so many people love this author. And this is also a very short book. So if I am feeling the pressure next month, if I'm feeling the crunch, I can go ahead and grab this one and feel good about being able to finish it uh, to hopefully finish out all of the prompts for this readathon. So that is definitely a good option if I need it. And then I also have Deep Light by Frances Harding. So this is one that I know absolutely nothing about. I know it's a YA fantasy, but it had the most intriguing cover that I've, I think I've ever seen. I love that cover and it's not technically water, but we're underwater in this cover. So I'm going to count it because that is about as summary as you can get. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. So again, I don't really know much about it. Look how cool this map is. Oh my gosh. Uh, except that it, it looks really pretty. <laughs> it says, an electrifying story about a friendship as dark and dangerous as the ocean and a journey as treacherous as the gods themselves. I mean, that sounds really intriguing. So that's my third option for the Ship of Fantasy prompt. So then once you climb aboard the Ship of Fantasy, you have the option of participating in the book club pick for our Patreon book club. And you can take your break by reading The Pariah by Anthony Ryan with us. This is our book club pick for the Frothy Fantasy book club, which is a part of my Patreon. And this is one I've heard amazing, amazing things about. I've never read an Anthony Ryan. I have several of his books on my shelves. This is one that I really, really have been looking forward to for a long time. So I was super happy when this was chosen for the book club pick. Uh, I think I'm going to really enjoy this. I think this has potential to be a favorite, I'm hoping. So very excited to check this one out. I will definitely be participating and resting on Sea Turtle Island <laughs> with the pariah. Um, but that is an optional prompt. You don't have to go to Sea Turtle Island if instead 
you want to bypass Sea Turtle Island and go directly to the next prompt, you totally can. The next prompt is the Kraken's Challenge. It's reading a book outside your comfort zone. So for me, the book I'm going to pick is The Boys in the Boat by Daniel James Brown. This is a historical nonfiction about nine Americans and their epic quest for gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics. I <laughs> don't read a ton of nonfiction, especially historical nonfiction. Uh, I don't know anything about rowing. I don't really know anything about the 1936 Berlin Olympics. So this is so far outside my comfort zone <laughs> that you can't even see the comfort zone anymore. So I am so curious. Uh, I've heard amazing things. This was recommended to me by someone uh, in my outside booktube life of <laughs> a very close family friend. It's one of his favorite books of all time. So I've been really wanting to check this out. And I've heard a lot of other people when I when I showed this in a book haul, so many other people commented that they loved this book. So it has me very intrigued to check it out. So definitely want to get to that one. And I feel like this would also be a good audiobook. I've heard amazing things about the audiobook. So this is one I definitely think I could finish out and make sure to complete for the readathon. And then finally, once you've gotten past the Kraken, you've landed, you are on the island with the buried treasure, you are at X marks the spot. And the X marks the spot, your treat, this prompt is reading a five star prediction. And hopefully by this time during your journey, you've found a five star, but if you haven't yet, this is like the ultimate place to find that five star favorite. And that's why it's called the five star treasure hunt. We want you to find favorites for this readathon. So my five star prediction that I'm absolutely going to read, if I don't read it this month, I'm trying to read this this month, but again, realistically, I don't know if I'll have time. So for sure, reading this next month, Nolan by Michael J. Sullivan. It's in the same universe as Legends of the First Empire, which is my favorite fantasy series of all time. I think we're actually following a character from that uh, series, and I've heard amazing things. It's a standalone, it's a companion novel uh, to a couple of other uh, books in this companion series, and I love this world. I love Michael J. Sullivan's writing. I love this character. I love any character that he writes, honestly. I think this is gonna be a five star for me. I'm so excited about it. So this is definitely, definitely, if I don't read it this month, I'm definitely reading it for X marks the spot for the readathon next month. So excited about it. So that is my TBR, my tentative TBR for next month with the Treasure Hunt readathon. And along with this readathon, there are a couple of other perks to the readathon that kind of come along with participating. So if you do decide to join the Patreon to join in on the readathon, there will also be exclusive patron only reading sprints that will happen every week for the readathon. Uh, and then there will also be an exclusive announcement video just for my patrons with my finalized TBR and officially announcing everything else about the, the readathon as well as an exclusive readathon reading vlog that I'll be doing. So I'll be vlogging my experience going through all of these different books, all of the different prompts, some other lifestyle stuff, uh, and that will only be seen by patrons. Uh, and then we will have exclusive Discord channels specific to the readathon where we'll get to chat about our progress, chat about our TBRs, chat about how we're doing, uh, getting to that five star favorite. So hopefully if this is sounding interesting to you, uh, you can have some time to think about maybe joining if you'd like. So again, all of the information for it will be linked down below. And for those of you who are participating, I'm so excited. I'm. This is our first themed readathon for the Patreon, and I usually will try to do two a year, one in the summertime, one in the wintertime, and we'll try to always have kind of exclusive content surrounding the readathon, as well as like an exclusive art that goes with the readathon. So yeah, I'm very excited and was so excited to come up with my TBR. I've loved seeing some of my patrons who are joining in come up with their own TBRs. Did you see any books that I called out that you think I should absolutely prioritize and read? Did you have any thoughts on any of them? Leave those comments down below. And thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and all that information for my Patreon and the readathon will be linked in the description box down below. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.